Subscribe to our YouTube Club 520. Uh, we clowning on that mother. Just hit the button. <laughs> God. Don't ask more questions. Subscribe. Because <laughs> I got a story about when we played. We played on the podcast. I'm gonna let y'all get to there because you won a championship with the Spurs. And you did your thing, <laughs> no, but shit. Bobcats was so fun, you know when you a rookie, you don't play. I, well, I didn't play. So I'm talking shit at the end of the bench. So I just yell shit out. I can't remember who the point guard with y'all team was. I think it might have been Ray Raymond Felton. Felton. It was Ray Felton. He went, to the, love. He, went to the, <laughs> he went to the basketball team. I was like, hell no. Nah. And he looked. <laughs> he looked at the end of the bench. He went, shut your ass up. But I'm laughing because now I got I got him pissed off. Like, I'm getting under your skin. I, I, I can't play like yeah. that either. I can't play like when I'm mad. I can't play like that. Like, shut your ass up. So I'm like, I'm going to keep talking. So next time he come... He come to the sideline, and I say something else. Like, that shit off. He with us, you know, talking shit. But they start ignoring me and shit. So now I'm standing up, doing all the antics. I'm, I ain't playing, so I'm trying to entertain myself, really. So it gets to the last shot of the game, right? They're one of the best storytellers. This nigga, so he got the wall on the wing by our bench. Yeah. So I'm like, Mo, it's Mo Evan. I'm like, Mo, lock that shit up, man. He gets nothing. <laughs> he jab, jab, one dribble. Game, right? Hit the game winner. <laughs> I think he ran on the stands. I jumped on yeah, the bank. Yeah. He ran on the stands. I'm like, oh shit, he about to come for me. Like, I, ran, I ran to the back of the locker room. I ran to the back of the locker room. I was like, I ain't about to watch this shit. I come back out. Mo was like, shut the fuck up. I was like, I ain't gonna say that though. That was my only game win in my career, too. Oh, damn. That was. That was the only one, oh, though. A walk off. Yeah, that was a walk off. That was my only walk off. He hit the shot. I remember I ran to the back like, oh shit, Mo came back there and said, shut the fuck up. I was like, I ain't gonna say nothing else. Mm -hmm. Who else was coaching you on that Bobcat? Joe Wallace. Joe Wallace was getting to it. So he ended up up making an all-star. I think I should have made it because shit changed when I got there, but I was happy for him because that was really my partner in crime. Like, I felt like I was back with Ron Artest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With Gerald on, on that wing. We, and we arguing about who guarding the, you know what I'm saying? I, I love having another guy that's going to compete on the wing like that. Like playing with Ron was the best ever, bro. Ron Artest, like I would never have a teammate that can dominate on both ends of the court every night if he wanted to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Ron is somebody who I, who I feel like as a team, the only teammate that could have won MVP and defensive player year in the same year. Dang. So, and we here with it. Listen, we all Naptown babies, man. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? We was locked in on that Pacers stuff. Man, that day, that that happened. Nobody could believe that shit happened nah. like, at all. We didn't need, I couldn't even believe it either, bro, to be honest. That was our championship year, though. I ain't gonna lie. Swear to God. Thank I, you, bro. I stand on I the played ball. On we, the, was, <laughs> we were smacking all four Pistons that year, bro. They we did not want to smoke five at the time. I they played on the Pacers bro. before, and that organization, everybody knew that was the year. Like, even when I came on the team, it, they didn't think we was winning no championship. They, it was they, a good at, year. At it was hurt, bro. Yeah. Yeah. They knew that was the year. Reggie too, because that was the year for us yeah. to win it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that shit, that one little shit happened five, like five minutes, fucked up our whole season. But we was beating the shit out of them too. Blowout. Yeah, I was cracking everybody. <laughs> we was beating the shit out of everybody, <laughs> dog. Yeah. We was. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Pacers might never win a chip again. I mean, had an opportunity to get close like that. I mean, obviously PG and them did. They but went straight white after these. That things. was the best team to me. I know they went to the finals with Reggie and them, but. The team we had? No, y'all was the best team. Y'all had killers. Y'all had killers. Oh, but from top, to, from all the way around, though, from one, two, three, four, five, like Jeff Foster, Jermaine O'Neal, Ron Artez, me, uh, Reggie Miller, mm-hmm. Jamal Tinsley. Uh, who had Scott Powell on the sideline? We had fucking um, Fred Jones. They, uh, we, had, we had a mob, bro. We had a solid mob. I, don't, I didn't see nobody beating us in no seven-game series at all. With a, with a, with a Ron Artez in his right mind? Oh, yeah. Nah. We wasn't happy. Nah, y'all, that was the year. I just remember from that fight, because Fred Jones, he, he used to be in India a lot. He used to live there for a minute. I used to always mess with him. He would come hoop at the gym and shit when he had that broom. <laughs> I said, Fred, everybody else whooping that ass. Man, what the fuck you doing, Fred? Sweet. I, Fred, <laughs> hey, hey, Fred weaved. Uh, ben Brother ended up, behind, if y'all look at the film, Ben Brother, because I think Ben has just lost somebody in their family before the yeah. game. Ben Brother had ended up right behind Fred and tried to knock his oh, head off. Fred, he, had him ISO. he turned into Pernell Wilder. <laughs> Fred, <laughs> Fred got out of the way of all them shits. He didn't get hit. And it was a big boy. He <laughs> throwing them big boy punches too. Like, yeah. he ain't move his arms. Shout out to my guy, Fred. And Fred it's crazy because if you look at the videos at the time, when they was paying it to everything happening, everybody else, you don't see emotion. Well, Fred was in the stands ducking for his life. He was like, yeah. damn. My thing was, why even go out there? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why even go on the stand? To me, and like, I really don't feel like we should have got suspended. Like, Ron, maybe. But then again, if you think about, okay, 
If somebody you out, we out at a restaurant and somebody throw a beer in your face, that's assault. Yeah, yeah facts. you know what I'm saying. They you can press charges on them. Yeah, you're right. But not if you're a black athlete. Yeah, I got you. Not if you're a black athlete, you can't. You know what I'm saying. We was at work, bro. That's, you know what I'm saying. Anybody else get assaulted at work, they're not getting in trouble. Why would we get in trouble? Because we defended ourselves. Now I have to say this too. When you look at the tape, I got I got suspended thirty games. I got fined three million dollars. <laughs> right. So if you look at the tape. I ran up six rows yeah. to get in a grab run. If I was on some bullshit, I could have hit somebody on row one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. I wasn't on. I went up and I grabbed Ron immediately. Look at the tape. As soon yeah. as I grab him, they throw another beer in his face. That's the dude I hit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't feel like I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have got suspended for defending my teammate and being in the, you know what I'm saying? I didn't go. If, now, if I went up there in the first row, hit a nigga, second row, hit a nigga. Like, okay, yeah. Fuck. Kick his ass out the league. I, ain't gonna, I didn't do that. I ain't gonna lie. You became, you became a legend in our neighborhood, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we, for real, you and J.O. Because when J.O. hit dude and he slipped. But if he didn't bro, slip, bro, he might have killed that nigga. And he still bro. left on a stretcher. <laughs> yeah. The dude, J.O. slipped and the dude still left on the stretcher, That's bro. That's crazy, That's bro. how crazy. I'm glad he didn't. Yeah. I'm glad he didn't. Oh, my God, dog. Can you imagine J.O. teeing up? And lining somebody up, dog. Man, what? He gonna, man, you, he probably, probably killed, killed that dude. No, yeah, sure probably, not. Dead. But what play click kicked that off, though? I don't even remember what band. happened. They pushed so, him around. So, wrong, no, wrong was wrong. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm at the free throw line. Uh, Look at the game. I'm at the free throw line. I'm going to tell y'all some shit that a lot of people don't know. I'm at the free throw line. I'm shooting the free throw. All I hear is, you can get your foul back. Damn. And Jamal Tizzy telling that to Ron Artez. I'm like, Man, what? The? No, bro, don't tell him that. So I'm like, fuck it. I go, you know what? I thought I hit him. Make the free throw. I ran back. Look at the tape. I ran back fast and jumped and guarded Ben. Yeah. Just so Ron couldn't foul him. Guarding Ben. I'm just letting Ben go score with the time running out. Go ahead. You know, I'm just playing token defense. I ain't foul him. Go score. Ron come from out of nowhere and foul him hard. Boom. I'm like, oh. Ben turned around and got 10 times bigger, nigga. Just start swelling up like the incredible. I'm like, ooh. He just, ooh, ooh, ooh. nigga, boom. That nigga, Ron, I thought Ron's head came off. Damn. That nigga pushed Ron's shit back so fast, dog. I'm talking about, God, I've never seen a nigga put his hands in somebody's face like that, dog. And Ron just, you know, he tried to get himself together. I know he was kind of woozy. He had to be. He tried to get himself, and we ended up breaking it up. But if Ron would have never came over and fouled Ben, I was guarding him. Yeah. Time, the game would have ran out, we'd have been out of there, you know what I'm saying? But Jamal says he told it. <laughs> Bro, get your file back from last year. Something in the finals that I had no, no you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't know nothing about it. it. And I ended up in that shit. And that's how all that shit started, dog. That shit shouldn't have never happened. 